Hi, this is Gary with another man-made episode of MacMost Now. You know, I use some fairly basic techniques when I surf the web, but I realized recently that not everybody knows about these techniques. So I picked my three favorites. Let's go take a look at them. So technique number one is a simple use of tabs. Not everybody knows about tabs, so let's take a look. To enable tabs, you want to go to Safari Preferences and bring up your Preferences window. There you'll see General Appearance, Bookmarks, and Tabs. In Tabs you want to enable tabs and by simply clicking on some of these options here. And you can see all the different ways that you can open tabs. So you can take a look at that yourself. I'm just going to show you directly what happens. So here we are at the MacMo site. And there's currently only one tab open so you don't see tabs at all. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and click on this link. I'm going to actually control click on it and it will bring up a menu. And the second item in the menu is Open Link and New Tab. When I do it I get some tabs at the top of the screen. This one's the page I'm on now and then here's a tab and I just click on it. I go to the other post that was there. I can open up as many tabs as I want. So I can go ahead here and control click on Tutorials and open up that in the New Tab. Now I've got three tabs. And notice that this third tab loaded in the background as I was still viewing the second tab. You can also, of course, go in and do lots of other tricks to open up the tabs, like control clicking will open up a tab like that. And now I have four tabs. So it's a quick and easy way to be basically multitasking as you're surfing the web. Now the second technique I use all the time is the toolbar at the top. And usually it comes by default with things like Apple, Yahoo, Google Maps, and everything at the top there. But what I do is I put the sites I go to all the time in that toolbar as well. All you need to do is drag the icon for website from the address bar into the bookmarks bar and it will ask you to add a name. I always shorten the name to make it as short as possible. Usually page titles are pretty long and that's what it tries to insert. Hit OK and now I have a link right there from MacMost. So I can go ahead and switch to Wikipedia here. I can go to MacMost. And you can add a whole bunch of different things in here. You can also go ahead and add entire list of things. There's already a couple that are in there for you. You can find more control over the bookmarks bar by going to the bookmarks menu and then selecting the bookmarks bar there. And you can manage and edit everything in the bookmarks bar. To get rid of something you can actually drag it over to where you want it to go or you can control click on it and delete it or edit it. Okay, this next technique is the most basic to me, but I know a lot of people don't know how to use this because of some of the emails I get. This is Game Scene, my main game site. Now, if you go into the games list, you come up with this page that's a huge page listing all the games at the site. And it's pretty massive. A lot of games there. Now, what I get is I get an email from people saying they went to this page and they couldn't find the game they wanted to play. Say, for instance, it was the game World Conquest. They couldn't find it. Well, to me, it's the simplest thing in the world. When you come across a large page like this, you do a find on the page. Just simply do Command F and it will bring up a little bar here at the top and allows you to find anything that you want in the page. So you just type Conquest and there you go. It finds that there's two games, Star Conquest and World Conquest. And there's also World Conquest Classic. So you quickly and easily find what's on a page. Now this comes in very handy whenever you come across a very large page of stuff. Say for instance you go to a news page like Yahoo News or Google News and you know there's going to be a story about the elections but you don't see it right away. I usually right away hit Command F, type in elections and it highlights all of the times that the word elections appears on the page. It's very easy to use but I'm surprised how many web surfers just don't use this on a day-to-day -day basis. Here's two other bonus techniques I use all the time. One is Snapback. You can find out more about that by going back to MacMost Now episode number 63. Another one is using History. History is kind of like bookmarks but it's every page you went to. So if you visited something yesterday and you didn't think it was relevant and now suddenly it is, you can go and remember what that page is by just searching through your history. It's pretty easy to search through it or just to browse through it. So there are a couple little techniques that may help your web surfing. Until Next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now. <laughs>